Good Wednesday evening and welcome to the NCW Life Evening News. I'm Grant Olson. Before we get to today's top news stories, let's take a quick look outside our weather window and what we're seeing. This was mid to late afternoon today, and this is looking down at Blewett Pass, folks, and there's some snow up there. Snow all around right now, north central Washington, as storm number two is now officially moving in on us. It's actually just a wave of moisture off the huge area of low pressure I've been showing you the last couple of days. We'll get to that later, but yeah, if you are traveling, be very careful on Blewett Pass or any of our local passes. Passes. Winter storm warning posted for parts of Cascade County, or I should say Chelan County, and also into Kittitas County, higher elevations. Here, we're not going to see a lot of snow, maybe about what we saw overnight uh, and into this morning, an inch or two in the Wenatchee area. Most of the heavier snow will be to our west in the Cascades and also into the mountains over into the panhandle of Idaho. But be very careful, and we're not done with the snow yet. We'll talk more about that coming up in your weather forecast a little bit later on. And now a few of the stories we're following for you tonight. Don't blame the DOT. If you get stuck on Stevens Pass during avalanche control work, we'll tell you why. A mental health nonprofit in Leavenworth earned a windfall from the owners of Stevens Pass Ski Area. And the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife recently ventured into vast and varying landscape of the Columbia Basin near Afreda to survey the mule deer population. But first we begin tonight, an orchard development company says Chelan County unlawfully interfered in its right to plant more cherries and it's filed a claim for damages. Wheeler Ridge LLC, owned by grower Kyle Matheson, says the county overstepped its legal authority to conserve land in the Stamilt Basin for wildlife and recreation and stymied the company's plans for 250 acres of cherry orchard on its private land in the area, identified in yellow on Section 17 on this map. The claim for damages filed with the county last Friday is a legal necessity before a civil suit can go to court. No such lawsuit has been filed. Well, don't blame the DOT if you get stuck on Stevens Pass during avalanche control work. Officials say drivers receive plenty of advance notice when the Cascade Passes are scheduled to close. DOT Regional Spokeswoman Lauren Loebsack explains that social media enables motorists to access DOT Pass information in a timely fashion. Yeah, we are available on most of the social media platforms and try to have an active presence there. Um, we also have that app, which is essentially um, all the information that you would get on social media or from the Gov Delivery Lift Serve or that you would see on the website is going to be available on that app. And so we always encourage people to download that if you have a smartphone. Um, getting those notifications out and helps the public make decisions about how they're going to travel. So they find themselves hopefully less uh, likely to be trapped in winter conditions that they're not prepared for or they didn't see coming or um, waiting for some avalanche control to occur. We um, start in November a 24-7 coverage in our traffic management center as well. So uh, those folks in there work with our teams that are on to make sure that that information is getting out even at night when I'm asleep and mm -hmm. enjoying my sleep and everybody else is working hard. They are uh, getting that information out and, and that will come. So uh, really just suggesting if you have a smartphone or you're on social media find uh, WashDOT and um, we're really working to get the information out. Mike Sanford heads up the avalanche control operations for the DOT's North Central Washington region. Absolutely so we try to do a uh, majority of our control at night to just to limit the impact on the traveling public and just the less traffic, it's good best for us too. So we'll try to do our control between 2 a.m. and 6 a.m. So uh, a lot of people are got to get to the airport in, on the west side or have appointments on the west side. So it's and we have seen an impact. It's it's good to be able to notify those people that we're going to do avalanche control the next morning at 4 a.m. So it gives them a heads up that um, if they need to get to Seattle at a certain time, they can either they can get before or wait till we're all done after and get over the pass. So absolutely, the, the notifications have been a good deal. The Department of Transportation pass reports are available as apps, which are available on the WASHDOT website. You can also use Twitter and Facebook to monitor the most current pass conditions. 
Well, a mental health nonprofit in Leavenworth earned a windfall from the owners of Stevens Pass Ski Area. Upper Valley Cares is one of 18 behavioral health agencies to share $2.8 million in donations from the Katz Amsterdam Charitable Trust, which is established by the owners of Vail Resorts. UV Cares says it will use $50,000, a $50,000 gift as seed capital to establish a free health clinic and counseling. UV Cares works with Cascade Medical Center for clients in Leavenworth, Lake Wenatchee, Pashaston, and other Upper Valley communities. The grants are targeted at communities where Vail Resorts operates its ski businesses. Well, what should be of great interest to hunters, wildlife biologist Ella Rowan with the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife recently ventured into vast and varying landscape of the Columbia Basin near Afreda to survey the mule deer population. The Columbia Basin is home to the largest concentration of mule deer in the state and is extremely popular with hunters. After each hunting season, the herds are surveyed by both ground and air, with the results determining whether there might need to be changes made to the hunting season and permits. After counting and recording more than 100 deer, Ella reported that the mule deer population is generally doing well and holding steady this year. Well, coming up next, Fauna Sugg, Chief Administrator of Chelan County Superior Court for the last decade, was named Court Manager of the Year last month by the Washington State Courts. Link Transit wants to hear from the public about potential changes to its service between Wenatchee and Leavenworth. And State Senator Brad Hawkins thinks it's about time Washington had an Apple-themed license plate. I'm Grant Olson, and you're watching the NCW Life Evening News. I'm Tom from Alpine Air Heating and Cooling. At Alpine Air, we think of ourselves as customer service oriented retailers. When you make an appointment, please visit our store, meet our people, see our shop. We are serious about heating and air conditioning. Carrier and Alpine Air are offering huge factory rebates and financing options for all your needs. Turn to the experts at Carrier and Alpine Air. Call for your free replacement estimate. Heat and air, call Alpine Air. 662-6846. Hi, I'm Ricardo and this is Amanda and we are from Impact Auto Sales. Where you can expect a hassle-free car buying experience. With our wide selection of used cars, trucks, and SUVs, let one of our friendly sales staff help you find the vehicle that fits your lifestyle. We have financing available for all credit types and great low rates for first-time buyers. Call us today at 888-8000 or stop by 3522 State Highway 97A in Wenatchee. Impact Auto Sales, where we strive to make an impact on your life and not your wallet. Coming home should never be a chore. Let Mary Maids of Wenatchee customize all your cleaning needs. Weekly, bi-weekly, special occasion. Do you have a vacation home that needs cleaning? We clean them too. Locally owned and operated, let Mary Maids do the cleaning while you focus on your family and friends. Mary Maids has special offers to fit your budget. Request your free cleaning estimate today. 509-663-1710. Welcome back. In another news, Fauna Sugg, Chief Administrator of Chelan County Superior Court for the last decade, was named Court Manager of the Year last month by the Washington State Courts. NCW Life's Jefferson Robbins and Caitlin Hedersheet visited Fauna at the courthouse to find out more. My name is Fauna Sugg and I'm the Superior Court Administrator for Chelan County. The job involves lots of different things. Um, I manage the budget for the court and law library. Um, I manage the guardian ad litem registries um, for a few different types of cases. I manage grants. For a long time, Chelan County was one of, if not the only county that didn't technically have a Superior Court Administrator. So for a number of years before I actually became the, the official Court Administrator, I did all of the same work that other Court Administrators across the state were doing just without the title. But in a court our size, you kind of end up doing a little bit of everything. I bailiff every once in a while. We have our first drug court here, which is a super exciting thing. Those drug courts have been around for a long time, but I think um, on a state level and on a federal level, people are realizing that some of the more traditional ways um, that our justice system has operated maybe aren't the best ways. And so we have, courts have moved toward more problem solving, collaborative type 
situations or programs. I do interact with people from courts across the state very often. Um, and listening to them talk sometimes about their work environments and the judges that they work for and that sort of thing. I just have always felt extremely fortunate working here because we have a great bench um, and I have great people who I work with and that to me is the best part about the job, I guess. To be on the same level as the people who have really raised me in my job and who I have admired for a long time um, is pretty humbling and, and pretty exciting. And congratulations to Fauna. Lake Transit wants to hear from the public about potential changes to its service between Wenatchee and Leavenworth. An open house is scheduled for Thursday between 4.30 and 7.30 p.m. at Leavenworth City Hall. Among the changes being considered is having its bus buses no longer end their routes at the Wilcoman Park and Ride. The Park and Ride opened in July and Link spokesman Eric West said several people have said it isn't working for them. Link is also uh, looking at expanding hours for its Leavenworth shuttle service and is exploring the idea of an express service between Wenatchee and Leavenworth. Voters approved a sales tax increase in August that will allow Link Transit to increase its routes and hours through throughout its service areas. State Senator Brad Hawkins thinks it's about time Washington had an Apple-themed license plate. The 12th District Legislator has pre-filed a bill for the 2020 legislative session that aims to make the plate a reality. Already, he has 20 bipartisan co-sponsors for the bill. Hawkins is teaming with the App Washington Apple Commission and the Washington Apple Education Foundation in pushing for recognition for the state's best-selling fruit. The Apple Commission has co contributed $6,300 in startup costs and is gathering the 3,500 signatures necessary to show sufficient interest in an Apple plate. Washington already has a wide variety of specialty plates people can purchase, featuring every Everything from universities to parks to veterans to wildlife. You're watching the NCW Life Evening News. Coming up next, tonight's feature story and your complete local weather forecast. That and much more still to come on the NCW Life Evening News. Stay with us. People are really skeptical of our industry. Uh, they have been sold products, they have been sold policies, they either don't need, don't understand, confusing. I understand that. We are more about the process and the people. Our SFG roadmap is designed to take care of all of those concerns. For those that have questions about their retirement, we would love the opportunity to sit down and chat with you. Some jobs are a calling. They call on something higher, something deeper, and a commitment to country that never dies. At Giza Credit Union, we help you support local veterans. With every purchase you make with a Giza Local Heroes Affinity Debit Card, we make a donation to select veterans' organizations. After all, we can never repay them, but we can do our best to help a little. With the Giza Veterans Affinity Debit Card. You want to help others. You need a solid career. You can have both with help from Charter College. Our 10-month medical assistant program prepares you to work in healthcare settings like physician offices, rehab centers, and clinics. You'll learn to take vitals, assist with exams, administer injections, and maintain records. When you're ready to launch a rewarding healthcare career, stop by our campus at 595 Grant Road across from Safeway or visit chartercollege.edu. Welcome back to the NCW Life Evening News. Well, as most of us in North Central Washington already know, Winthrop is a great little small town nestled at the eastern end of the North Cascades Highway. In tonight's feature story, you never know what you're going to see on the streets of this western-themed town, and it's also one of former Washington Secretary of State Ralph Monroe's favorite places.
Here in the beautiful Metau Valley, nestled near the banks of the Chewak River, is the little village of Winthrop. It's an incredible place. In the 1960s, this town was kind of a dead-end location. There was no highway across the Cascade Mountains. The North Cascades Highway didn't exist. But as that road came closer and closer, the people in this town got busy. The owner of the lumber mill and the town leaders got together and they said, let's convert this town and make it a real attraction, a destination. Let's make it an Old West town. And that's exactly what they did. And now people come here from all over the world. You never know what you're gonna see in downtown Winthrop. It might be some people on horseback coming down from the hills to enjoy lunch. It might be a group of hay buyers from Asia here to purchase Metau Valley hay. It might be tourists from the southern states. You might even see a Cuban opera singer who works as a busboy every year to make money and take back to his family in Cuba. You never know what you're going to see in Winthrop, but it's worth the trip. Winthrop is one of my favorite places. And it's one of our favorite places as well. Time now for a look at your North Central Washington weather forecast. First outside our weather window. This is what it looked like this afternoon, late this afternoon before sunset traveling on Blewett Pass. Snow falling that began around 2, 2.30 this afternoon. It's been snowing all afternoon. Snow all around North Central Washington now. And with the clouds, I'll tell you what, our temperatures just didn't change hardly at all today. Unofficially, our high temperature in the Wenatchee area today. 32. 33 is our normal high temperature, but look at our low. 31. We only went up one tick all afternoon to 32 degrees. 24 is our normal low temperature. Record high on this date is 50 degrees. That was set back in 1974. Record low, 4 degrees in 1972. We did pick up almost a tenth of an inch of moisture from the snow and the rain that fell overnight. That now gets us to 6.73 inches for the year. Normally, we should be just a little little bit over seven inches for the year, so got a little bit of catching up to do, but we've got more precipitation on the way. Sunrise 738 this morning and the sun set this afternoon at 410. Let's take a peek at tomorrow now and see how your Thursday weather shapes up. One thing you will notice, much, much warmer temperatures. We are seeing a warm front move through. That'll happen overnight tonight. 47 the high in uh, Moses Lake tomorrow, 46 of Freda, 45 in Quincy. We will see 43 possibly in the Wenatchee area tomorrow. And we're going to stay in the low 40s all the way up to OMAC, where you folks in Okanagan County about the 40 degree mark tomorrow. Surface loop time now. Tonight we are seeing this huge area of low pressure continuing to spin in the Gulf of Alaska, and that's bringing waves of moisture up from the southwest into our area. 60% chance of rain mixed with snow for tonight. It will remain on the mild side with low temperatures pretty much in the low 30s overnight tonight. For your Thursday, a lot like tonight. Mostly cloudy. We'll continue to see about a 60% chance. I think mainly rain showers for us in north central Washington tomorrow because the temperatures as I just showed you tomorrow fairly warm in between 40 and 47 degrees for Friday back to mostly sunny skies. We will see unseasonably warm temperatures even some 50s possible down in the tri cities. We will be in the lower to mid 40s for Friday. Not quite as warm on Saturday but still a pretty nice start to our weekend. Mostly sunny for us. Still mild. There is a few snow showers to our east 
and then a few in the Cascades as well, and that will usher in possibly some more snow showers. Then as we get into our Sunday, mostly cloudy skies, we'll start to see more of a northwesterly flow too. That'll cool us down a little bit, but it looks like here widespread scattered snow showers for Sunday. As we get to Monday, mostly cloudy skies for our next work week. We will see once again a 20% chance of rain showers. Most of that will be once again in the Cascades. Lots of storm systems backed up all the way back to Russia and Korea, and they're just moving our direction, and we will continue to see that throughout the week into next week. A 30% chance for snow on Tuesday, and the yellows and gold right here indicates heavy downports of precipitation, so I think it's good, a really good chance that we will see a white Christmas throughout most of North Central Washington. Famous last words, right? Let's take a look now at your Patriot Plumbing. Heating and cooling is seven day forecast, 32 the overnight low tonight. Good chance for rain mixed with snow overnight. That will continue off and on for our Thursday, but warmer, 43 possibly our high tomorrow, 41 on Friday, mostly sunny to kick off our weekend on Saturday and 38 degrees, and then about a 20 to 30% chance for rain mixed with snow from Sunday through Tuesday. High temperatures then in the mid 30s. And that's a look at your local weather forecast coming up next tonight's sports report with Eric Granstrom and more as the NCW Life Evening News continues right after this. It's estimated that one third of Americans do not have a financial plan. At DA Davidson, their advisors are working to change that because they understand the importance of planning for the future. At DA Davidson, they believe in partnering together to build a strategy tailored to your needs. They spend the time and have the knowledge to help keep your financial future on track. Let DA Davidson Financial Advisors of Wenatchee put the strength of advice to work for you. AC Checker has new owners who put customer service first. When you have to get there on time, call fast, friendly, reliable AC Checker, 663-TAXI. AC Checker has the industry's only on-time or it's free guarantee. Conditions apply. Call AC Checker, 663-TAXI to schedule your cab or schedule online at acchecker.com. Call American Classic Taxi, 663-TAXI. That's 663-8294. Being able to support yourself and your family is an important part of who we are. We all need to know we're able to provide ourselves with a secure future. Some job seekers have a harder time finding work. That's why Goodwill's Employment Connection Center is here, a free walk-in job search assistance program designed to help people find work. When you shop at or donate to Goodwill, you're really being a job creator, and that's a good thing for everyone's future. Goodwill, there's more behind the store. And now it's a sports update on the NCW Life Channel. And a happy Wednesday to you. Eastmont Lane's the site for a showdown yesterday between first place Eisenhower and third place Wenatchee. Shortly into the first game, Wenatchee's best bowler Kyla Hankins had to pull out because of back pain. That's when Cammie Carter, whom you just saw there, stepped in and helped finish with a 167. That pushed the Panthers past the Cadets in Game 1, 743-699. to Now, Ike surged out to a 95-pin lead at one point in the second game, but Wenatchee clawed back behind a 213 from Kayla Musgrove and a 178 from Jaden Thompson. They won it 791-774. to Now, the Cadets won the two Baker games, so it came down to a total pin count. Wenatchee edging Eisenhower 1800 to 1751. The loss was Ike's first of the season. The Panthers improved to 4 and 2 with a win. Meanwhile, just down the alley from Wenatchee and Eisenhower, Eastmont was having no trouble winning its non league match against Ellensburg 4 zip. And at Lake Bowl in Moses Lake, the Chiefs beat Davis 3 to 1 to jump into a first place tie with Eisenhower at 4 and 1. Turning to the Les Schwab Prep girls basketball scoreboard from last night, Moses Lake traveled to Kamaikin and picked up a big 64 22 victory. Quincy beat Waluk by 11 41 30. Connell stopped Efreda 49-36. It was Okanagan over Cascade 66-18. Waterville Mansfield girls lost for the first time this season, falling to Liberty Bell 58-44 and Manson Edge Soap Lake 33-30. On the Les Schwab Prep boys basketball scoreboard, Moses Lake ran into a buzzsaw in Post Falls, Idaho, falling 87-61. Efreda dumped Connell 73-41. Waluk put up 90 on Quincy, downing the Jackrabbits by 18. Okanagan was 12 better than 
Cascade 48-36. Manson mauled Soap Lake 63-17. Liberty Bell completed the sweep in Waterville, downing the Waterville Mansfield uh, team 63-53 the final there. Well, the Wenatchee Wild are in trail tonight to try to get Chris Clark his first team, at, first win that is, as interim head coach. Wenatchee has slid to fifth place in the interior division standings at 16-14-3-1. That's 36 points. Trail sits in second place of the division at 19-12, 1 with 42 points. Wild coming off a 4-2 loss at Coquitlam Sunday in front of 262 fans. The Express, apparently unbeknownst to the local fans in the Vancouver suburb, are blowing the doors off the entire BCHL at 28-5. They have 56 points. That's tops in the league. Coquitlam is 16 points better than second place Chilliwack in the mainland division. Puck drops at 7 o'clock tonight. You can hear it locally here with our buddy Arch Ecker on 560 KPQ. Wenatchee will return home for the annual teddy bear toss Friday night against Salmon Arm. Fans, fans are encouraged to bring stuffed animals to the game and toss them onto the ice when Wenatchee scores its first goal. The Bears go to Operation Santa, which distributes them to needy children in our area. Well, former Wenatchee Panther Trey Adams is among five Washington Huskies selected to the all Pac-12 first team. And the uh, second time for Adams, along with fellow offensive lineman Nick Harris, also selected first teamers for the Dogs are tight end Hunter Bryant, defensive lineman Levi Onwuzer Iki, and defensive back Elijah Molden. One Washington State Cougar selected to the first team of the Pac-12 kicker, Blake Mazza. Well, the Seahawks will be in uh, Carolina to take, in fact, Charlotte to be exact, to face the Panthers on Sunday. In uh, Coach Pete Carroll's 10 years in Seattle, the Seahawks have faced the Panthers seven times in the regular season, two times in the postseason. Even though they're without Cam Newton and Ron Rivera has been fired as head coach, Coach Carroll says he's very familiar with the challenges that they pose. We're deep in it now, deep into the finish time. We got to get. Uh get back on track with a really good week, um, really good preparation, going against a familiar opponent. Uh, it seems like these guys are in our division just about as we play them almost every year. And uh, some changes, there's some changes this time around, but uh, Panthers have always been tough. It's always been a great matchup for us, and, and uh, so we got to get ready to go. Um, really like to finish road trips uh, with, with a really good finish right here. And so we're putting everything we can into it. It's a big championship opportunity for us. And we've got to get right and, and, and do everything we can to make it you know, a successful uh, week here in practice. And then we'll take it to Sunday. So we're looking forward to it. Now, one of the biggest challenges for Seattle Sunday is on the defensive side when they'll face Christian McCaffrey. He's third in the NFL in rushing yards, fourth in the league in the number of receptions. He's a great player. You know, he was a great player in college. I remember sitting at the at the uh, combine in the evening, sitting down with him, just one on one with him, and, and uh, I was really excited to talk to him because I was so impressed with him as a college player, and and I kind of wanted to see if he had that kind of twinkle in his eye about being great. He left no doubt, and uh, I was blown away by by his mentality, and then uh, to see him perform at such a high level so consistently, and he's he's good at everything, and he's. He's, you know, he's the best combo guy there is. 86 catches he's got right now. I don't know it's third or fourth in the league, whatever it is, as well as 1,200 yards. I mean, it's crazy numbers. But he brings it, and he runs tough, and, he, and he's good in the open field, and he makes the catches and runs the routes, and he's an incredible player. So, and so the answer is yes, it is built around him. It should be. They, they figured that out. It wasn't hard to figure it out. And uh, he's been uh, incredible his first couple years in the league. Seattle and Carolina kick off from Bank of America Stadium Sunday morning at 10 o'clock, and you can watch it on Fox. That's a look at sports news. I'm Eric Grandstrom. Grant, back to you. Thank you very much, Eric. And that's going to do it for our newscast tonight. For more on these stories and other news from around North Central Washington, you can find us on Facebook or our website at ncwlife.com. And remember, if you see news happening, we'd like to hear from you. You can send us an email at news at ncwlife.com or give us a call at 888-6295. I'm Grant Olson. Thanks for joining us and have a great night.
Hey there, Wenatchee. I'm Sean Lee, and I'm inviting you to check out the NCW Movie Guide to keep up on what movies are playing in our town.